Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericaMuscle.com here with my overview and an install of the KNN Series 69 Typhoon Cold Air Intake, available for 2015 and up GT Mustangs. This overview is going to cover a few topics with the KNN, like what you can expect from this intake, some info about the components of construction, and some info about the install. The install for this one is a simple one. It's a one out of three wrenches on the scale, but I'll get more into that a little bit later on. The KNN cold air intake is gonna be for the S550 GT owners out there that are looking for a budget-friendly aftermarket cold air intake with a polished intake tube to clean up the looks of the engine bay. Aftermarket cold air intakes are a popular mod, but there are a few different choices out there between airbox styles and filters. KNN here is an open element style intake, so it's gonna be the most basic design, but it's also the 69 series, which is designed and styled to be for both performance and show. The KNN is gonna come with a few pieces. You have your air filter, your inlet tube, clamps, an adapter for the filter, and a coupler for the filter as well. And it's gonna come with all of the necessary hardware that you need to get this intake installed. And the KNN here does not require a tune. As far as the factory intake goes, it's actually really good. It's highly functional and it isn't as restrictive as you might think it is, but what we tend to see is aftermarket cold air intakes tend to function a little bit better than the factory intake in the upper RPMs, and especially after some mods have been completed. The KNN is one of the more basic designs though, so it doesn't maintain the cold air feed from the grill and it does not have a closed air box, it has a shroud instead. This intake does not require a tune, so it's one of the intake options that you can just bolt on and go if you want to. Normally, an aftermarket intake would require a tune if the MAF housing size is much larger than the factory one, so a computer tune would be required to recalibrate. But in this case, it's not needed. I will say, though, that you are only going to see gains of a few horsepower if you end up not pairing this intake with a tune. Taking a look at some of the components of the intake, the air filter is a reusable oiled filter. It's made from layers of cotton gauze and screens that are epoxy coated for durability and filtration. The oil is used to treat the cotton gauze to give it a tackiness and give it the filtration abilities that it needs. What's nice about the reusable filter is that you can clean the filter when it's dirty and reinstall it and not have to worry about having to purchase a new filter every time. And the intake tube itself is aluminum with a polished finish. Looking at the price for this intake, you can expect to pay between $300 and $400. Now this is one of the only intakes it offers an aluminum inlet tube, so it is hard to compare price-wise. BBK does offer an intake with a polished aluminum inlet tube like this one, but it is a few dollars more. If you're thinking this is too much for you, there are other cold air intake options on the site that are less expensive, but they don't have the aluminum inlet tube. As for the install, it's nothing too difficult, and like I mentioned earlier, the intake is going to come with all of the items that you need to complete the install. All you really need to complete the install is a few basic hand tools. This is probably one of the easier mods that you can tackle with your new Mustang, and it'll take about a half hour or an hour's tops, and I'm going to call it a one out of three wrenches on our scale. All that you need to do is remove the factory air box. You will need to disconnect the air box from the inner fender and remove the inlet tube from the air filter and the throttle body. We're just talking about a few bolts and clamps to get this done. The KNN installs nearly the same way that the factory air box came out, but it is a little bit different because of the heat shield. You just have an L bracket instead. The rest of the install is pretty much the same as installing the factory intake. You just put on your new couplers and clamps and slide the air filter and shroud into place and tighten everything down. Wrapping things up here, this intake from KNN has a simple design that's going to look better under the hood than the factory air box. It has a reusable air filter that's easy to clean and reinstall when the time comes. And you can check it out more online for yourself right here at AmericanMuscle.com.